Mercedes-Benz Nürburgring 460K Cabriolet D, W08, 1928-33. The Mercedes-Benz Nürburgring 460 was introduced in autumn 1928, Mercedes-Benz's first eight-cylinder passenger car. Designated model W08 was by the factory. It remained in production with various modifications and upgrades until the later summer of 1939, the longest-lived Mercedes-Benz model of the 1920s and 1930s. The car was developed by Ferdinand Porsche, who had transferred to Daimler from the firm's Austrian affiliate in 1923. Porsche was the board member with responsibility for new product development. The company's objective with the new 8-cylinder Mercedes-Benz was to come up with a serious competitor to the Horkate, and Porsche's work on the new car appears to have been very rushed. The result was a car with a traditional overslung, Hockmet, chassis with the longitudinal chassis members directly above the axles, at a time when newer designs increasingly favored underslung, Tiefmet, chassis layouts on which the axles sat directly above the load-bearing chassis beams. The 1928 Mercedes-Benz W08 therefore looked unfashionably tall even at the time of its launch. The engine was a 4,622cc straight 8 side valve unit for which maximum output was given as 80 PS, 59 kilowatts, 79 horsepower, at 3,400 revolutions per minute which translated into a top speed of 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour. The wheels were suspended from rigid axles supported by semi-elliptical leaf springs at the front and at the back. Braking applied on all four wheels using a mechanical linkage supported by a Bosch Du Wonder vacuum suction device. The car was close in size to the Horkate which had effectively been benchmarked for its design. The 1928 Pullman limousine bodied version of the Hork came with an overall length of 5000 mm, 200 in and a weight of 2,100 kg, bare chassis weighed 1,400 kg. The 1928 Pullman limousine bodied version of the Mercedes-Benz Nürburgring 460 was 4,890 mm, 193 in, long which increased to 5,200 mm, 200 in, when the detachable rear boot, trunk was added, the Mercedes weighed in at 2,150 kg. Bare chassis weighed 1,550 kg. Both cars had an imposing height in the standard bodied form of 1,900 mm, 75 in, even though the Hork had since its 1926 launch incorporated an underlung chassis. The car's respective widths were 1,765 mm, 69.5 in, and 1,760 mm, 69 in. In addition to the Pullman limousine bodied car, priced by Mercedes Benz at 15,000 marks, buyers of the 1928 W08 could choose a torpedo bodied six seater Touran wagon for 14,000 marks or a four door Cabriolet D for 17,500 marks. There is also mention of a reduced wheelbase two door Cabriolet, although it is not clear whether any of these were produced based on the 1928 W08. The big old-fashioned and very expensive Mercedes-Benz W08 of 1928 found few customers, and had to be replaced the next year with a more stylish version, now using an underslung chassis. Technical director Porsche's contract was not renewed at the end of 1928 which was followed by two years of acrimonious litigation between the company and its former technical director, while there are reports that it took six years for Mercedes-Benz to sell off. At discounted prices, the already accumulated inventory of 1928 model Nürburgring 460s.